Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So Fidel hasn't been able to film as much during the week, so I've been trying to come out on the weekends and give you guys house updates. So today I'm going to walk you through what they've gotten done this past week and what the next week or what their plans are for the next week. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. So this week they've been working on the side of the house that has Dominic's bedroom. And as you can see, they're working on building the walls the rest of the way up, like the other portion of the house that's finished so that we can get closer and closer to putting on the roof of the first floor. So we've got Dominic's two windows. Well, he actually has three windows in his room. Um, so we've got the two and the third almost completely framed and they only need a couple more layers until the wall itself is complete and so this is how tall it is once it's complete as you can see this wall is finished so these walls don't have very much to go until they're finished as well now when we come through here they're also working on building up the wall for the bathroom this is the first floor bathroom that will be used by the boys and by any guests in our house and the last part of this is my office and as you can see it now has all of its walls closed um, for a lot of the time that we've been building the house uh, and that this wall hasn't been put in but they finally got this wall put in and now they're working on building this wall up so that it is the same as the wall behind me so they're working on this they'll get all of these walls up and then we'll be that much closer to putting the first roof or the roof on the first floor now Fidel has also been working really hard this week on finishing up these arches. Now, when they went to pour them, they realized that they weren't gonna be able to pour the cement in these arches because they're connected to an arch that goes from this point over here to this point over here for the staircase. So what Fidel has been working on is he has framed out the castillo so they can pour that. These are all framed and ready to pour. He just needed one more arch. So now he has this arch, but as you can see, there are some special things that had to be done to this arch um, so that the form was correct where the staircase goes. But I'll let Fidel explain that um, in more detail with the footage that he recorded earlier today. Y aquí tengo el otro barco que también acabo de hacer apenas. Este, este corte, le hice este corte de aquí, lo, 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 le corté. Porque aquí lleva la pared de las escaleras. Aquí este, son cinco y media que tengo de de aquí digo son 12 pulgadas en total sí papi oh es mi nombre agua agua este ya, y este arco me va a servir para la parte de abajo de las escaleras este arco aquí ya lo tengo este este va aquí lo tengo aquí es donde van las escaleras entonces ya más cerrando esta parte ya tengo la ya tengo más de la mitad de los de los arcos hechos y pensaba colar esto pero no, no lo puedo colar porque quiero que se amarre toda la que amarre esa pared con la para que se amarre toda la escuadra entonces este por eso estoy esperando entonces tengo que, tuve que hacer este arco para ponerle aquí es este arco que va acá entonces este por eso lo corté porque aquí aquí va este arco entonces este arco aquí sienta porque van a este las escaleras entonces aquí están mis líneas donde van a donde va el arco oh, aquí wow y por eso le dicen Nacho porque aquí va la plataforma del del arco digo la plataforma de las escaleras entonces aquí sube una chiquita pared donde por eso lleva ese pedazo de cortado el, el arco vamos papi let's go sí vámonos now I'm also going to take you guys over so you can get a look at where Fidel's broccoli and tomatoes and onions are and how much they've grown this past week. But if you saw in a short video that I posted earlier this week or a couple days ago, they actually found a baby rattlesnake here. So 
we know that if there's one baby rattlesnake, there's more than likely more baby rattlesnakes and a mom very close by. And for that reason, until we can locate where the rest of them are and make sure that it's safe, the boys aren't really coming out to the house site, which is kind of a bummer because both the boys really like coming out to the house site, but we really do have to be careful because we don't want anybody to get bit by a rattlesnake. So let me take you and show you where Fidel's crops are as of right now. Okay, so here are the broccoli plants. Let me give you a close up because they're doing really, really well. So here's Fidel's broccoli. It's doing really well, no complaints. And a couple of you guys asked how he waters the fields. Well, just by rain. We don't have an irrigation system or anything like that. Some do here, some don't. And so those of us that don't have them, we rely on the rain to water the crops. So that's how Fidel waters his crops. And so far, so good. Also, here's a look at the backside of the house. So here's my kitchen window. There is the, what will be the back door. And as you can see now, we're starting to see windows on Dominic's room. So this will be Dominic's room. Almost has two of, two of its windows completed. <laughs> Now on this row are Fidel's tomatillo plants. As you can see, they're also doing really, really well. So here's a close up. <laughs> and then over here, he has a couple rows of onion and they're also doing really well. So all good on the crop front. Now I also saw a comment asking if we had ever planted fruit trees. So for those of you that don't know, when I was growing up or when I was little, my grandparents actually had a fruit farm and it mainly consisted of apples. So each weekend, well, not each weekend, but during harvest, so uh, I'll be honest, most of the time it was cold, but during the harvest season, I would go to my grandma's with all my cousins and we would help my grandma wash apples. She had a machine that would feed the apples through we would help her sort and wash those apples and then box them up so that she could sell them. And she had people come from all over the Midwest to buy these apples. They were really, really popular. So I have some experience in some um, in growing fruit trees, but we have planted some already on the house site. Um, if you guys have been following for a while, you saw when we first got these. But let me show you where they're at and how they're doing. So right here on, well, behind the house, <laughs> we actually have 10 fruit trees. They're kind of in various different stages. They were actually given to us. Um, and so I don't know exactly what each tree has. I do know that some of them are peach trees. We do have some plum trees. I think we have one apple tree as well, but they're actually doing pretty decent. They are still really, really young. So we don't expect anything from them right, oh, right, oh, right away. <laughs> but we have some of them. We also got a, um, I want to say it's a banana tree, but I'm not 100% sure, but we also got a tree from Beth. We didn't think it was going to survive. Uh, Beth is our friend in Oaxaca, but it took, it just hasn't gotten very big, but it seems to be doing okay. So we're hoping that it'll make it, but our fruit trees are actually not doing bad. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up this house update. Um, I'll hopefully have a longer house, day, house update with more of the family uh, for you guys next weekend, but we appreciate you being here and for being a part of all of this. Um, we, we really do love all of our supporters and we're just really, really honored and glad that you guys are here and uh, like I said, being a part of this. So if you have questions about the home build, please drop those in the comments below and I'll try and get them answered on the next house update and let us know if there's anything else that you guys want to see from our neck of the woods in Puebla, Mexico. Have a good day guys. Bye.